Praise the Lord. We welcome you in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus of Nazareth. I, Joe Madhu, and my sister, Sister Veena Chessi, we bring you the word from the heart of the Master. My dear brother and sister, there are times when we cannot understand what is happening all around us. But these are the times we must remember. God is wanting to speak with us. When God speaks, He expects us to listen. When we listen to His word, we will have direction. But if we are to listen to His word, we have to humble ourselves in prayer and listen in prayer. We have to wait. We have to pause our journey. All that which we are doing, just put everything to a pause and wait in His presence. Never think it is a time waste when you begin to pray, when you begin a day by praying. No matter what amount of work you have, if it's going to be a very busy day, start your day with prayer. Start your day with prayer. And start your even your kitchen work with prayer. Only when you come into your days, your thoughts into the hands of the Lord, then the Lord will perform wonderful miracle in your life. When you humble yourself in prayer, it means you're committing your way to the Lord. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in His in Him and He shall bring it to pass. When you commit your way to the Lord, when you hand over this day, this task into the hands of the Lord, it doesn't mean that you're not going to work. You will be working, but you're committing everything into His hands. Your thoughts, your plans, commit your way. It literally means commit your works. In Proverbs 16, 3, the man of God says, Commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. So you have a thought in your mind, a plan which is working out, and those plans and thoughts should come to fulfillment. Then what you need to do, commit your works into the hands of the Lord. Commit your works into the hands of the Lord. When you find things are contrary, when the wind is blowing, when the storm is raging, when you do not understand what's happening all around you, that is the time, my dear brother and sister, you should pause. You should stop and begin to pray. Whatever busy journey, whatever busy task you have, put it all aside, wait in His presence. Don't try to struggle with your own strength. Do not strive with your own wisdom. Allow God to speak to you what His heart is. Allow God to speak to you what He is wanting to share, talk with you. One of the most amazing examples is in the book of Joshua. Many times I have shared this word. Again and again, it comes to the very important point wherein that God is listening to us. My dear brother and sister, remember, God has a plan for you. God is wanting to bring about amazing changes in your life. When God is going to bring amazing changes in your life, I tell you, God will certainly want to talk with you. It's in the book of Joshua, 7th chapter. These people of Israel had gone for war against Ai, the city of Ai. They thought it's a very small city, it's not a big one, not to worry about it. Two or three thousand men could go up and attack it. 
Do not weary all the people there, for the people of Ai are few. So about 3,000 men went up there from the people, but they fled before the men of Ai. And they were chased. About 36 men were killed, not even 10%. It is just 1% and, and less. And now, what is the response when things are contrary to what you have experienced until now? I, I, I'm not exactly for what the, the way in which Joshua prays, but what really is important is Joshua tore his clothes and fell to the earth on his face before the ark of the Lord until evening. He and the elders of Israel and they put dust on their heads. They waited. No war. No trying to take more number of people and going for war. Once again, how dare they kill us? Let us take 30,000. Let us take uh, 3 lakhs. I, I tell you, it's not the plan of Joshua. Joshua just fell flat, face down in the presence of God, humbling himself. My dear brother and sister, this humbling, this down-to-earth prostration before the Lord, that is what which makes God to talk with this man. My dear brother and sister, there, there was a big problem which was taking place there. There was sin in the camp and God wanted to teach them, teach them a lesson. That is why I tell you, when things are contrary to you, you need to stop and pray. You need to stop and pray. No more talking about it. You should allow God to talk with you. Job was talking and talking and talking and talking. His friends were talking. But when the Lord began to talk, Job says, Then Job answered the Lord and said, Behold, I am vile. What shall I answer you? I lay my hand over my mouth. Once I have spoken, but I will not answer. Yes, twice, but I will proceed no further. I will proceed no, no further. My dear brother and sister, how can we go and stand and argue and talk with God when we have not yet humbled ourselves? We can go enjoy His presence. We can sit in His balsam and we can taste of His love and compassion, but only after we have known his heart only after we have known his heart in that 42nd chapter Job again answers the Lord and says I know that you can do everything and that no purpose of yours can be can be withheld from you you asked who is this who hides counsel without knowledge therefore I have uttered what I did not understand things too wonderful for me which I did not know things too Wonderful for me, too wonderful for me, which I did not know. That is why he says, listen, please, and let me speak. You said I will question you and you shall answer me. My dear brother and sister, he says, I have heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you, but now my eye sees you. Therefore, ab I abhor myself and repent in dust and ashes. Job doesn't say, Lord, yes, please ask me. I'm going to answer you the questions. He says he is humbling himself in the presence of God. When he humbles himself, God brings the deliverance even to his friends. Oh, my dear brother and sister, this might, there might be a storm raging all across. But I tell you, don't be worried. Pause and pray. Pause and pray. In the garden of Gethsemane, the Lord Jesus Christ said, Wait and pray. The Lord wanted them to pray. When we spend in the presence of God, you know something, prayer is not just about asking and talking with God. Prayer is listening to the voice of God. Prayer is also a time to listen to the voice of God, to soak in His presence, to soak in His presence, and to listen to His voice. 
to know his heart and to walk as per that. This day, having been washed in the blood of Jesus, what are you going to do? Wait in his presence. Ask him, Lord, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Where do you want us to go? What is your will and purpose? And God will certainly talk with you and give you the direction and the purpose to walk through the storm and come out victorious. Let us pray. Father, we pray in your presence. We have many a problem around us, a storm raging all across the world. But yet today we come to your awesome presence and ask of you, Lord, we humble ourselves, we pause, we stop, we pray. My Lord, Lord, to speak with us, your servant listens. Lord, speak with us, your servant listens. In Jesus' mighty name we pray thee. Amen. My dear brother and sister, today bow down in the presence of God and pray and soak in the presence of God and you will find the heart of God being transplanted into your heart and you will be able to perform the will and the purpose of the Lord. Yes, yes my friend, stop and pray because God speaks. May the presence of the Lord be with you and do wonderful things for you. Amen.